Helen's Bay is a, a village built around a lovely sandy beach on the north coast of County Down. So lovely, in fact, that the people were still swimming in the sea in mid-December on the day that I was filming. And although it doesn't feel like one, it is a planned development. 200 years ago, there was nothing here. Just an empty townland with the rather less aspirational name Bully Grot. It was owned by the man that lived three miles away in the Clandy Boy estate. Frederick Temple, Hamilton Temple Blackwood, first Marquess of Dufferin and Ava, or Ava, I don't know what the pronunciation is. He was simply known as Lord Dufferin. And incidentally, this is why you see the names Dufferin, Ava, or Ava, and Blackwood all over North Down. Anyway, when the Belfast, Bangor and Hollywood Railway decided to build their railway through here in 1865, the Marquis stumped up for the ornate new station at Clandy Boy, five minutes walk from the beach. The station wasn't called Helen's Bay for another 20 years. Now, this wasn't pure philanthropy on the Marquis's behalf. The new line and the new station would give him the opportunity to realise his grand plan of building a beach resort and golf course to rival those established destinations like Port Rush, which had already been accessible by rail for the last 10 years. The station itself was built in the Scottish baronial style and bore the insignia of the family. It hasn't changed that much in the 155 years since it was built. A few of the more ornate features have gone, like the old waiting rooms and the signal box, but thankfully the old building itself is still in use as a small business premises and has been thankfully maintained as it should be. The new village and, as I said, eventually its station was named Helen's Bay after Lord Dufferin's mother, Helen, funnily enough, who was herself a well-known figure in London society thanks to her talents as an author, wit and songwriter. And the Marquis was obviously very fond of her, as he not only named the new village after her, but also Helen's Tower at the other end of Clandy Boy Avenue. Clandy Boy Avenue was the private lane that connected the Dufferin's home on the Clandy Boy estate to their beach at Helen's Bay. So when he was taking the train somewhere, the Marquis would have alighted from his carriage here in this courtyard before ascending a stairway into his own private waiting room in the station building. I've always loved the bridge that carries the railway over the path. Perhaps even grander than the station itself, it was presumably built in such a fashion to appeal to the station's benefactor every time he passed under it. These days, Clandy Boy Avenue is still there and it's open to the public, so you can access it by going through this doorway at the end of the subway. It's a bracing walk. If you're going to try it, it's well worth it. Make sure you bring your train spotter survival kit with you, coffee, sandwiches, and also some old shoes that you don't mind getting muddy, very muddy, because no matter the time of year, it's always pretty waterlogged down there. That was a relatively quick visit to a lovely station and delightful part of the county. As ever, if you liked my video, oh well, you know what I'm going to say. Hopefully I'll get another one out before Christmas, but if I don't, have a great break and I'll see you the next time.